it's oh, time it's to done, leave. Yeah. And so and so when you um, you got done with that, you moved to Florida. You start doing the secret PC Junior game right. stuff, and you know. And we did two games for them. We did the first game. What were they? Raton, were they uh, ports of, of stuff or original? Mm, they were original. In one of them, I don't remember the name, but it was underwater game. Um, it was when PC Junior came out, they had five, four or five games, and two of them were my games. King's Quest 1 was um, the first one. was in that. Not too, I don't remember the name of that underwater game, but it was... Uh, it was an interesting game. Um, so you did two of the, the first right. five. Right, two of those, and then I just took off. What'd yeah. you do? I mean, I I just left everything and <laughs> didn't want to have to do any, anything with computers. You got out of the whole computer out of, thing. Out of, well, yeah, sort of. Moved to LA. Did you have to do um, it? I mean, did you have plenty of money? You didn't have to work anymore, or were you? Oh no, I didn't have to worry about uh, financially. Um, you just pick a place to live that you want to live just in. Just wanted to move around and <laughs> meet some interesting people and just move around <laughs> and just go to LA and meet someone there. And wow. um, they happen to be from Boca Raton. They invite me to Boca Raton. I said, oh yeah, and tomorrow you just go there, I'll you know? be there. I'll meet somebody from Paris. So I'll, <laughs> okay, I'm living in Paris for, for awesome. a month. <laughs> and ended up traveling a lot. So you just went all over the U.S. or the world? No, actually, right. I was mostly in Europe and spent a lot of time in Singapore. Wow. <laughs> and, um, we, That's interesting. Before all that Nintendo stuff yeah, came Yeah, and, and that was basically Doug Carlson's who got you hooked up, right? Right. What Doug made was, you, you kind of come, where was it that you came back from? Did you come back from Singapore? Uh, I came back, I remember I was back in L.A. and I'm not sure for what reason we were so in touch mm -hmm. with Bill Budge and Doug Carson, because at one time he wanted to form a company and we wow. all get together, but that, been that, cool. yeah, that fell apart because, um, I don't know why, um, it probably wouldn't work anyhow because yeah, Bill, is, he likes to do things and... <laughs> Just like you like to do <laughs> your own thing, yeah. Right, so <laughs> it probably wouldn't work anyhow. Um, but I did come up to visit Doug and Met, oh, he showed me some of the games that he had in Japan. For, like uh, Mario Brothers or something? For, right, Mario Brothers yeah. or something like that, and told me about Nintendo. And then uh, I don't remember. A new thing, you know? Right, right. It's it was an in, interesting system. 6502? 6502. Oh, <laughs> something all right. that I know. Yeah. And no problem. Mini assembler. Give me a mini, <laughs> mini assembler. I'll be safe. <laughs> I'll do anything. Right, right. <laughs> so I met the um, um, Square people. Right. Uh, in San Francisco. So, so Doug knew the Square people, not the Doug Nintendo guys, or knew what? knew the Square people. Well, actually, the Square people, Doug, uh, Doug had somebody who worked for him, and she knew, I think she was a um, distributor for Japan or something. Okay. And that Square people came to San Francisco to visit. They were just starting then, right? Right. I mean, their they, company was brand new. Right, they, uh, they, they were. And which I, which when I went to Japan, I found out like, they only had uh, one game. And they had two programmers, one game or two games, one game I think. Was that before and Final Fantasy One? Yes, the games way okay. before that, right? And it was a small company which I which I liked. Uh, yeah. Um, and actually, the the development system was pretty much like Apple. Oh really? It was mini assembler. There's no assembler. Oh uh, okay. I'm happy. So <laughs> just getting there. Did you ever use Merlin or anything like no. that? You were always mini assembler. Wow. No always comments. mini assembler. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no comments or nothing. Well, actually, I, uh, on Apple, I think all the time that I did Apple, I never had a printer to even print oh my God. a flowchart right or do anything. It just, it just you just was, keep it in your head, right? It was much easier to do it in my head and because I was able to do it fast. If I were to do a game for one month, probably couldn't print, or a couple of months, yeah. I probably couldn't finish it because I would forget all that stuff <laughs> in my head. If it's, you yeah, know, I, I have to refresh, I have to go and break my own code to see what I've done. Wow. But, when, you, uh, when you came in tonight, you seemed really surprised by the fact that so many people knew you were doing all of your games. You said, I didn't realize there was, there was people playing my games. And then you have somebody like Mark Turnell, who's a game god, come up to you and just, you know, treats you with that same kind of reverence. So how, <laughs> how does that feel? And, and who do you look at? 
Um, yeah, because you were at the front of everything. Well, first of all, I'm just honored. At, uh, it's amazing to me that this many people, when John first contacted me, it was so nice of him, the email that he sent me, um, I couldn't believe. Mm -hmm. Well, first of all, I was away from game business. I didn't know. I knew of his work, but I didn't know him but by name. And when I found out that this guy is writing all these nice emails to me, I was just amazed. It's just amazing that this many people um, remember. Yeah. I thought I just did some work and entertained people, and it's forgotten by now. Oh, me. yeah. <laughs> and actually, John knew more about me and my games, actually my work, than I do. Well, <laughs> still does. And the legends about the mini assembler. And yeah. The, the, all I mean, the stories it's, that's, and those are the games. That's why people like today are game designers, is because they played your stuff. They had to learn somewhere, you know. They had to play your games and just well, look that, at them and go, wow. And well, the other thing is people saying that things were impossible until you did them, and then everybody's like, oh, well, that's, you know, like the NS5, the full screen scrolling. Yeah, and, and <laughs> who they are. And, and a lot are, of people, exactly, you know, yeah, so. I, I, uh, so, so many of them I never met before. Uh, yeah, you know who they me, were. Right, but yeah. I knew their, some of their works. Uh, actually, the only people I knew from the business were Bill Budge, um, Doc Carson, I uh, met Steve Wozniak, and uh, that was pretty much it. Uh, just kind of a then, tight, you were just too busy working? I was you didn't just, go out and... No, I wasn't hanging around too much in the business. I would do my thing and try to finish it and try to t take a um, couple of weeks off at least to forget because I, otherwise <laughs> uh, I couldn't finish. I could never finish any project if it was up to me. Um, I'm never ever think a project is finished even if people tell me it's finished. Oh, yeah. I always think there's if I spend one more day thinking about it, I can figure out a way to do something more interesting. And spend more time and right, get it right, done. Right, 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 right. So, so. so um, you luckily got in with Square at the very beginning of right. when they started doing anything. What made you want to go work with those guys? Well, I, they invited me to in Japan. All the, all You're the, like, well, I traveled the world, let's go. Right, so I've never been to Japan. So <laughs> they said, if you ever decide to come to Japan, or actually they said, just come on over and you know, let us take you around. So, sure. So once I went there, um, Miyamoto, the owner of the... Uh, so Miyamoto, okay, Miyamoto though is an in, is Nintendo. But he was at Squaresoft? No, like Miyo visiting? Miyamoto, he, he's... Uh, Shigeru Miyamoto? No, it's... Uh, oh, it's a different another, Miyamoto. It's a different Miyamoto. Oh, okay. He's the Squaresoft, he's the owner. Okay. Um, he, I went and visited him, so he took me after 10, 14 hours of flight. And <laughs> he takes me right to his office and uh -huh. I check out his office in downtown Ginza area, which is a pretty nice office. and looking at the products and they have one game and pretty good setup. Yeah. But not much is happening there. <laughs> and they were starting out in, you know, we, we talked about doing the games and I didn't promise them anything. I said, I'll, I'll think about it, you know. Give me a machine to work on it for. You told them all about how you like to work at home and everything. Right, right. So, and yeah, I stayed there, I think for in the beginning for a month and worked on just uh, their, their machine, learning, just, uh, learning, just learning, learning. And before I decided um, to do any contract with them. And when I worked with it, it, was, it reminded me pretty much of Apple. Yeah. It was a simple machine, um, sophisticated enough for its time, but simple enough that you can create things that, that, that I, I hadn't seen. They showed me some of the games that's out there. and. I thought there was room to do some new stuff, some new tricks. And that's basically what I did. I did um, the, first, uh, the first game that I did, I think it was uh, World Runner or something like that. It's the 3D maze going and the jumping guy. Oh yeah? Trying to jump over towers and collect items and stuff like that. Oh. So basically I was trying to find a routine to do 3D stuff faster than Nintendo. <laughs> and we turned it into a game, and, cool. um, and that worked pretty good, and did a 3D version of it and stuff like that. That and was your first project, though. Right, that was my very first project, and I think we did, uh, did Rat Racer for them. Rat Race? Right, that was um, similar to an arcade game, 
that was out there and that 3D road going up and down that ha was, hasn't been done for Nintendo at that time so that was kind of challenging to do that. Something new. Something different. new yeah. and after those two quick games um, we decided to do, well they wanted to do a, um, a Final Fantasy type game. Well, That's RPG. An RPG game, exactly. And it was very different from what they had been doing before that. It was totally different because before I do everything myself. I right. did from artwork and screen to programming and all that stuff and put together. And this was different. This was not something that I could do just by myself. And yeah, especially, it was a big game. And especially when you want to do all these messages on the screen and they all have to be Japanese. And <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mm, you didn't yeah. speak it. Didn't speak a word of Japanese. Did you have to work so, with other programmers on that team? Yes. Um, the program well, they had a lot of designers, character des designers, and they hired a cartoonist. Wow, like a um, real team. They were getting a real, real that, development. It was the first together. time that we got a real team together, and we worked together with uh, Sakaguchi and a couple of in-house programmers. And the original two programmers that they had, I think they quit after a while. Um, it was too much for them. Yeah, it was a big old project. And, right, well, it was not only that. Uh, back then in Japan, um, nobody wanted to be a programmer. Nobody thought they could make money doing programming games. Oh. It was everybody back then thought the money's in hardware, not in software. Oh. And, but later on, everything changed. Now everyone wants to be a software programmer. Totally, yeah. right. They want so to be a game designer. I heard, I heard <coughs> that when you went to Square, that the programmers there knew who you were. Yes. You they, went there and they're well like, actually, oh my god. Funny thing. They say they went there, they, they, Miyamoto introduced me to them and they asked me if I, what, what game have I done? I told them I did some stuff on Apple and, some stuff. And they said, do you know Nasha? I said, no, I don't. I said, yeah, he has he's written many games for Apple. I said, his Nasha. name is Nasha. They called me Nasha. <laughs> <laughs> and so what games? And I said, like, SpaceX, this and this. And I go, oh, I wrote that. And so you're Nasha? <laughs> I don't oh. know about that. You're like, oh, um, that sounds like it might be my name. It might be my name. So they found out, I guess. <laughs> they, they, they played all my games and they knew the games. They yeah, go they nuts? Were, they, were, <laughs> they, were, they were pretty nuts. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah, so actually, they were the one that, uh, that uh, they, they were working on a new game. And somehow, before that game finished, was finished, they quit uh, for whatever reason. Yeah. So I was stuck with Square by myself. Wow. Had to Doing <laughs> Final Fantasy One by to, uh, yourself. Well, well, no, actually, that was the, um, on the second game. The Final Fantasy at the time of the first Final Fantasy, they did hire programmers and did hire all these graphic designers, and uh, so it was actual team working on it. Um, but still, it was kind of challenging to work with a group for oh, the first yeah. time for me. Exactly. And You're like, wow, I don't get to do the graphics, I don't get to do the sound. Right, right. You know, I the had story, uh, the idea, all that stuff. It's like, right. well, I get to program. Okay. Yeah, I get, I get to program. I don't have to worry about all that stuff. I <laughs> get to program. Cool. <laughs> yeah, it's it's kind of cool. But the only, the only um, difficulty for me was uh, timing. Like, I like to work at a certain time, and I just don't like waiting for them other people, to be finished yeah, that's because totally if I wait for two weeks and if I have to wait for a couple of weeks or even a month then I might forget what I've done <laughs> in the past and you don't so I don't write down anything everything supposedly is in my head and I could wow. lose all that information pretty easily <laughs> so so that but we overcame that uh, by the time we wrote Final Fantasy 2 so um, one was Final Fantasy 1 very first one Japanese and all that then you did Final Fantasy 2 Japanese or was that 2 was that four, which ended up that two was on the NES. Two was on NES, and that's the one you worked on, right? Okay, because four was on the Super Nintendo. That was the first one on the Super Nintendo. You worked on the, the regular Nintendo ones, right? Okay, one and the two. The regular Japanese. Nintendo, and I thought I did two on Super Nintendo. I'm not sure now. Because because two Amer the the American. Final Fantasy II is Final Fantasy IV Japanese. Well, the problem is, well, it's not a problem. With each of those Japanese games, you have a Japanese version, English version, and a European version. 
on different NES. Numbers. Well, the NES, the European version was different because of the, the PAL system. You mm -hmm. had to change the yeah, timing or something. Um, and the Japanese to English was totally different. Not only that, uh, we had a we had a 3D version um, on some, not Final Fantasy and the other two games on Rat Racer, for example. We had like six different versions: one for blue and red glasses 3D, yeah. one for those LCD 3D glasses oh. that Hitachi just produced. So we had so many versions of them that I don't remember <laughs> which is what. That's a lot of code um, maintenance. And also the name changes from English to Japanese. Um, I know one of the games was called Tobidase Daisakse. And I remember that just because it sounds like to be the same Daisakse or something. Oh, yeah. Tobidase <laughs> <laughs> Daisakse. Uh, that's how I learned my Japanese, trying to remember something that rhymes with it. Uh, yeah, that's a good way to, to remember it. Um, so but anyhow, yeah. The jump between uh, the, I guess, Final Fantasy II, which was original Nintendo, to Secret of Mana. Which was Super Nintendo? Was it was Secret of Mana your first NES game? Uh, Super Nintendo. For Super Nintendo, yes. So Secret, Secret of Mana, Mana was your first one. Right, right. I think it was. That see. was a, that was a lot of time between those games, wasn't there? I mean, '87 was Final Fantasy one. Yeah, Final Fantasy one and Final Fantasy two in the English and Japanese version. That took a lot of time. Uh, no, <laughs> after Final Fantasy two, I thought. Did you leave again? <laughs> Probably. Well, I, I had come, well, between Final Fantasy, by the time I was doing Final the first two games that I did for Square, uh, I think I had maybe a few months in between for vacation. Um, after the first two games, I think since then, I took at least a couple of months, three months before and after Final Fantasy, and then it got longer. Like, if wow. I work on a game for six months, then I need a break for at least six months. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> double it. <laughs> double it at least or something like that. So, and the last one, um, then I took a long vacation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you're like long ones. When you take a vacation, you're not working, right? Right. You're well, just I'm, running I'm, around. I'm not, well, I do work. I, I, don't, I don't work. Um, I do... I did some other stuff besides games. I um, got involved with doing, making movies and stuff like TV that. TV production and TV stuff production, like that. TV production, uh, experimenting with other things. Yeah. And I'm still once in a while getting to, um, whether it's PC or Silicon Graphics, just playing and trying to see if I can motivate myself into some other, something else. You know, what, what's the next thing you can be excited right, about? Right, right, exactly. Basically. And the N64 is pretty interesting, but you know, there's new, the, the Dreamcast is the new thing coming out. Yeah, there's so many new stuff that they're talking about, com <laughs> that they're, it's coming up. I yeah, One after I, I, another, I boom, boom. I would like to work on something that um, it's gonna come out in a couple years from now. So I could take about it maybe a year just thinking about it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what I wanna do with it. So you'll just yeah. kinda think about it for a while and you know. <laughs> You'll think for a while, uh, maybe I'll work and then a couple of years I'll work on something next. Right. Wow. Maybe he'll do the next blow away engine. Yeah. We're waiting to be blown away by NASA again. Wow. Well, well I, I was when I saw Man. I don't on. think you won't you'd be blown away by me, so <laughs> you know, Oh, I was. Be waiting for a long time. When Mana came out, wow, I mm -hmm. couldn't believe it. Yeah, you know, I put the cartridge in. And, and it comes up and it said programmed by NASA. I was like, oh my God. <laughs> oh, I couldn't believe it. It was amazing. And then, you know, just the birds flying across and just how that ring menu system, how fast it was, just the everything. It was perfect. Well, it's very nice of you to even remember my name. Oh, geez. Oh, no one will ever forget it. No one else just, I mean, no one else was called NASA, you know, and just... Yeah, nobody had that weird name. And it, and it was and it was on so many games, too. You're just not going to forget. You know, I played 50 games, they're all NASA games, you know? Right, but <laughs> I, I never thought that people would pay attention to who wrote the game, just play the game in the old days. Right. Um, oh, well, they did. Know. I mean, you look at the programmers at, at Squaresoft when you first went there, they knew who you were, you know, right, in a different right, country. Right, right, right. <laughs> people yeah, pay it's, attention. It's just pretty amazing. Yeah. Pretty amazing. You, <laughs> Do something that you like, and, and people you think get paid cool. for it, and people remember you. <laughs> what great. else can you ask for? <laughs> yeah. This is what as good as it gets. Huh? Yeah, that's great. Yeah. That that's great. cool. So I guess you're just kind of 
just kind of on a vacation kind of thing right now? Um, kind of on a vacation for my next motivation, waiting for the next motivation <laughs> to start another project. Just hanging out and you'll see if something comes up. And right, exactly. That's cool.